So it's been a massively, massively productive day. Um, this is actually coming along a lot better than I even thought it would. So it's, uh, it's taking a little bit of work. My father actually came down this, uh, this morning and helped me out till about one o'clock. So thank you to dad for, for that. It was huge help, but as you can see, we are in, we are squared up and we are looking good, looking really good. Um, we went around and we made sure that all the things were level as we put them on. You could see I kind of stepped up right about there. We stepped up one and then came in. I'm gonna throw a third board up on the top there just because it is kind of close in. But I did the same thing back here. Step down after two. One, two, boom, step down. Running straight in, right back to the corner. Everything is squared up. The one thing I didn't have was a T-square. Um, my father actually said, oh, I thought you had one, so he didn't bring his. So I made one. It's just one by three pine. Made sure it was at a straight angle because I do have a small square. So I use that to help just make all these corners squared up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of things I did around here because I'm still working on this. I gotta do some backfill. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, a line here and then especially going up the ridge here and actually a gap here. And I can get down, you can actually see right through there. But that's actually to my advantage because if you look here in my yard, it comes down the hill here as it comes over and goes back up again right here where you see this dead grass here there's like a swale right in here so all of this if i get some fill before i do any type of soil and seed here come the fall fill in here it'll come right up to the back on this and it'll fill in real nice and have this sitting pretty so but again this is the priority right this is what we're working on so it was actually a lot more level than i even thought it was so i did a pretty good job with the final grade um, and I've been just kind of taken out from these piles here that were picked up. So clean soil. So actually what I'm doing is I'm going around now and I'm starting to backfill all around. What I'm going to do now, uh, before I finish doing the fill is I'm going to do my stakes. So I'll get you that in a second, but let's go ahead. I'll walk you through kind of some of the things I did here. All right. All right. So we picked the corner and we started there. Um, I actually used my shed as a line so i made sure it was straight in line with the shed so it kind of lined up it didn't look off what i ended up doing is i took off the trim piece because that ran all the way down and it got in the way so i'm going to cut the trim piece a little short and remount it um and just pop it back up there but that allowed me to have this board right where i wanted it to so you can see these plates are a little longer than the board but that's okay i wanted the sturdier plate it goes a little deeper but that's okay because then it kind of gives me a little bit of a corner support kind of digs in the ground um, and that impact driver has been amazing. That drill driver has been sweet to use on this. So we made sure this, this here, we started on this post, walked out, found a level, made sure it was, it sat where we wanted it to. So we kind of lifted up the bottom with the dirt, raked it around. Once this first board was level, I came in and I took my cuts. I took a two by six board that I had extra, um, that you've seen on the deck cut it into one foot sections. I got nine of those going all the way around. And all I've done so far is I've mounted one number nine, two and a half in to each one. And that's just to hold this together. This can still flex and, and move up and down as I need it. Um, Cause again, I'm gonna put the stakes in here. Now I'm gonna drive those in and hold it in place. Then I started from here, went to the next one, leveled it off. So now all the way down, we leveled. And I should note the other thing we did is we took a screw, tied it up to the end there, right in the middle. And you can see here, I got my lay line. And we took the line. Let me get this out of here, actually. There we go. And I made sure that my line sat true. So I was sitting nice and square. So we got that done and you can see it looks, can't say I didn't do too bad considering I'm not a contractor. And this isn't a foundation. I'm not trying to build a house here. This is a playscape. So went around, just made sure we were on the true line. Went to the next board, mounted it, made sure it was level, threw, threw a bolt in each one. Came to the next one. Now this is where we did the step up because you can see here, there's a big gap. And if I started running this board over here down in, I was gonna be underground by the time I got up there. And you can see that one's almost sitting level with where the ground is. So we stepped it up one, same one foot section cut up. Cause again, two by six, so six and six. Come down, another strap. 
and then this squared up here and you can see this is stacked up so i got the plate still sitting there um, so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put a third board up here just to tie it off so i'll throw a piece a two by six piece up there on the outside and i'll do another strap an interior strap on this as well as a little extra strapping around the sides just to my own security my own thought that allows me to run this board straight back again another line all the way to this corner we t squared up this corner made sure it was true and then did the same thing and ran our way down the other side and again here's my step now my steps steps so it, again this is where the trampoline's going to sit so this is a little higher that's okay then you come down here and we are uh, level for the swing set. Anyway, stepped it down, ran it through. You can see I started to do some backfill. I still have to go finish that up just to top it off. Um, and then I ended up at this square here. We're squared off on this. And then if I come over here, I need to level this off, but I can't do the mount because I need to get a plate to put in here. So I've got to do the same thing I've done to the other ones and just get um, a bracket plate so that I can mount this board through and i'm actually going to use the the bigger ones the two and a halfs instead of the one inch screws because i'm not going hardwood to hardwood this is just uh trim paint trim pieces so i'm going to be able to go right through the trim piece and i'm going to use a two inch flat strap so i'll catch it here and right here and i'll flat strap it right in and that way i'll be able to get right into the stud on the inside of the shed with a two and a half right in done everybody's happy it sits where it needs to um so that's where we're at um again got a lot of this done with my father here we got all the way up and down and around to that piece right there i've been finishing this up here been going since about nine o'clock so it is one now i guess give or take one one thirty something like that anyway um so i'm gonna finish doing some backfill here i have to run to home depot to grab a couple extra straps and then once that's all said and done, I can roll out the landscape fabric here and be good for tomorrow. And we'll be ready to go. So just thought I'd give you guys that update. That's what I've been doing. That's how we've gone through here and, uh, and done the setup. Um, but uh, there you go. Stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up some work here. Winding down here, uh, getting towards late afternoon. The sun is uh, on its way down. Stakes are in one, two, all the way up and around. And uh, so what I actually ended up doing was those stakes you saw that uh, they weren't stakes. They're, they're actually the deck spindles, the splines that go inside of the deck. So they sell them individually for like a dollar or two at Home Depot. So I bought five of them, split them into 10. I actually need two more because of how I ended up doing this, which is not a big deal. But so I split them, cut them in the half, did a 45 on them so now there's about a 20 21 inch stake here and so six inch board so i've got a good uh i don't know heck i'm below the six inches let's just say i've got anywhere from 14 to 18 inches in the ground and these hammered it in nicely so they're buried down and then i got this secured onto the plate the plate as you can see i've added my extra bolts all the way around and I kept it plumb. So I made sure that uh, I followed the line. I made this straight all the way down. I made sure that the level was back on point. So we leveled it to, to load this. And now we did a double check on the level. We leveled it to make sure we could put the plate on, make sure that we were running true, make sure that we squared up. And then I did a second check on the level, put the stake in, made sure we stayed true, and then bolted it all up. I've actually gone and done that all the way around. So you got here. There, 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 and I gotta finish. You can see it dips in there. I gotta bring that up and stake it and call it a day. Now, almost done there. However, over here, I know you're talking about the corner. I ended up doing a second board up here. So you can see I already did a step up instead of just burying myself in the dirt. And then I have that one, which goes almost to be level. If you look down here, you can see that board almost sits in the ground. That's not going to give me um, a whole lot of play in terms of putting mulch down. And then I added a second. So I threw a board you can see right here. There we go. I've got the cross board going down. Let me get a little closer for you. I got this 12. This is my 12 inch. These are my 12 inch cuts that I did for my plates. So I got one coming across here 
then I got one going up, right? And that way this one's now secured. And I got my cross piece sitting in here with the, uh, the stake. So this is all secured. And the whole point of me doing it on the inside, because this is all gonna be filled up with mulch, is that out here where you actually look at it is a clean line. So I have a nice clean line going all the way down the inside. Clean line, here's my stake. And what I actually did over here with my steps, so don't mind the camera, just moving around a little bit, is I put this guy in here right up in the corner so I was able to drill in one side and then the other. And this is all done with my impact drill, um, the drill driver or whatever you wanna call them. And that thing, awesome. Total beast, totally recommend it. I've been using it all day to do all of these. I'm only down to half battery on the, uh, on the Milwaukee. And that's that new battery I charged last night. So it's charged full. And that's this little guy right here. This is the brushless, the M18. It's not a fuel. Um, it was the special buy at Home Depot for 99 bucks. Came with a compact 2.0, two amp battery with the tool, little hanger hook on it, which has actually proven to be nice. And a bag and a charger. So you got all of that. Let me just double check in here again. Yep, you can see there. Been using this all day for all these screws and I am still half battery. So really impressed. Obviously my, my level is a level, it's been working great. Um, the only thing left for me to do here is I've got a stake, a stake, and I gotta run to Home Depot. I gotta get one more stake to cut in half and I gotta get a flat plate because I'm gonna mount this right up here. So this is gonna go right up against the butt. So it sits flush with the shed. And then I'm gonna add a flat plate to mount across. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get use my two and a half inch screws. So that way I can go through the wood here, through the little one by, because I don't want to um, cut this and lose it. I also don't wanna drill into it because it's not a secure point. I wanna get through into the stud. So that's what I'm gonna do with this guy. Flat plate, one more stake, everything in. And you can see again, I still have some backfill to do. And the backfill is not perfect. It's not meant to be, so you can see just kind of ridged on the side. But again, the goal here is if I bring you down to this level, level sorry, and you are sitting right now, and I show you here, there's my boards, there's the gap. You see how low I'm sitting? This whole spot right here, it just comes right where you see this, the dirt start to show up over here on the ground. It just starts to be low. This all just comes down. So I got a slew here basically. Not that water piles in here. I don't get water. I don't get standing water in here. It's just a slew just from the slope of the land. It's settling over time versus what's over here. Nice, clean cut grass, and it just starts to slew. So what I'm gonna end up doing is filling all here, which is gonna get all of this right up to this swing set. So instead of me having to worry about grading and dropping down in front of it, I can go right up to the wood and have this level off. So it'll bring everything up. So that was my thought in kind of keeping it raised a little bit as I went around instead of burying it into the dirt because it's easier just to kind of pile around it. But again, landscape fabric's gonna go in there probably first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my evening just finishing here, doing the uh, the backfill here on this corner. Just get a couple of wheelbarrows of dirt and just start filling this in. Tomorrow morning is when I'll come out here and I'll throw the fabric down. That's not gonna take that long. Uh, it's just a straight roll and some staple. So that's where we are. That's what I've done today. Again, my father came out and helped, huge help with me to get this started and get the squares going. And again, now I've got a 20 by 50 area, huge. Looks massive, feels massive. But by the time that this has all been filled up with mulch and I've got a swing set in here that's about 20 feet long, plus a 16 foot wide, where is it, where is it? Oh, it's kind of hidden. There it is, I went right by it. 16 foot wide trampoline in here. It's gonna fill it all right in. We're gonna have the water table, the sand table. It's gonna be all set up for the kiddos and life is gonna be good. I initially said I was probably gonna need like 10 yards. That's gonna need a lot more than 10 yards. I, 10 yards is gonna be like one chip placed, you know, across the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna screw it and say, go for the 20, get the 20. I can get it delivered here at a price that actually I only end up paying for 18 yards. So you get two yards for free. Um, when they reduce the delivery charge because what I'll do is I'll fill this in and then anything else extra I have, I'll go right behind the shed here where I'm gonna put that wood um, that wood piece or the wood rack. So that's where we are. I'm gonna make a run to Home Depot. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tidbit. Um, it's been a really busy day for me. Uh, again, I'm doing this with a phone, so it's kind of hard for me to film a lot of the action shots that I'm doing. I don't have a tripod or any type of fancy stuff, you know, but I'm just kind of doing this as a hobby. But uh, I do thank you for checking out the DIY guy. This is just another uh, one of many projects we do. So uh, stay tuned because tomorrow is the build. So maybe I'll get some uh, footage of everybody working and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, you guys have a great evening. Take care.